Hey guys, it's Medicine Man. You know one of my favorite stoves of all time is the Caldera Cone. Specifically, the Caldera Fissure. Because of that small cup, the whole thing sets up in when you're packing to go. Uh, something I always wanted to try. That was after hearing about the Smoke Eater Mini Heat. And that was to combine the Mini Heat and the Caldera Cone Fissure. And that's what we're playing with tonight. Yeah, along with a couple old white burners. If you know the mini heat, you know it doesn't have a huge reservoir in the burner itself. And you need to look for when it starts to turn. That's when it's running out of alcohol. And luckily the caldera cone fissure's got that little gap. And you can see that blue flame burning inside. That's what we want. When that blue flame turns red, and you're actually seeing the combustion on the carbon felt, that's when it's time to squeeze and add a little more fuel. And I added just a little bit too much. You can see the result. Guys, we've got a failure. Let me show you where it is. That was my fear that the tube wouldn't be able to handle the heat inside the caldera cone. So, scratch this test. You win some and you lose some. Uh, what looked like to be a super uh, efficient use of the mini heat uh, inside the caldera cone, uh, just like I said a minute ago, it's turned into an abject failure uh, we did have flame on the outside of the tube, it burned through. I was watching, had that fear, uh, went ahead and shut the stove down. Um, so, unless I can find a more serious silicone tubing that can handle that heat inside the cone, uh, the mini heat will not be used inside a caldera cone. And uh, for those curious about the white gas burners, uh, this is my aged Optimus 99R, going back, I guess, 30 years. And this is the uh, Coleman Dual Fuel. Uh, it was used for paddle camping, still will be. Uh, I don't think I'd backpack with that one. But the 99R will be uh, going on the retro hike in Red River Gorge at the end of the month.